SDF is engaged in persistent information gathering and warning and surveillance during peacetime over the sea and airspace surrounding Japan so that it can respond to various contingencies immediately and seamlessly. The SDF carries out information gathering some vessels suspected of violating the UN Security Council resolution in the seas surrounding Japan. During 2018 to the end of December 2020, the SDF confirmed and disclosed 24 cases that were strongly suspected to conduct so called ship to ship transfers by North Korean vessels. The SDF detects and identifies aircraft flying in airspace surrounding Japan using warning and control radars as well as early warning and control aircraft. If any suspicious aircraft heading to Japan's territorial airspace are detected, fighters and other aircraft scramble to approach them so as to confirm the situation and monitor the aircraft as necessary. In February, a Sukhoi 34 fighter bomber was confirmed for the first time above the sea of Ahotsk in a scramble. In response to an attack on Japan, including its remote islands, the SDF will quickly maneuver and deploy requisite units to block access and landing of invading forces while ensuring maritime and air superiority. To strengthen its defense architecture in the southwestern region, a surface to air missile unit and a surface to ship guided missile unit were deployed to Miyakojima Island in March. The STF also will deploy an area security unit in charge of the initial response and other units in Ishigaki Island. As part of measures to enhance the persistent ISR posture, the STF established Airborne Warning and Control Wing by upgrading the Airborne Early Warning Group in March. Also, to secure capabilities for swift and large scale transportation and deployment of units, MOD established a transportation aviation group that operates Ospreys in March. The GSDF procured Ospreys from the United States and conducted the first flight in Japan in November. Considering the situation surrounding Japan, the ballistic missile defense system needs to ensure constant and sustained protection against ballistic missile attacks for a long period of over one year. The MLD proceeded the plan to introduce two Aegis Ashore units since December 2017. However, as a result of continued discussions with the US side and following studies, it became clear that a drastic upgrade of the entire system will become necessary to control the flyout trajectories of the interceptor to safely drop the booster within the maneuver area or into the sea. Given this finding, the MLD concluded that it was not reasonable to invest additional cost and time and that it became unable to deliver on commitments to the local people. For that reason, the MLD decided to suspend the process related to the deployment of the Aegis Ashore in June 2020. A cabinet decision was made in December to procure two Asia system equipped vessels instead of land based Asia system and to develop a new standoff missile to enhance our standoff defense capability. Based on the cabinet decision, the MOD will continue to steadily strengthen our defense capability in order to protect our citizens' lives and defend their peaceful living. MOD SDF, on a steady state basis, conducts persistent monitoring as well as gathering and analysis of relevant information in space, cyberspace, and electromagnetic domains. In the event of any actions that impede its activities in these domains, the MOD SDF will promptly identify incidents and take such measures as damage limitation and recovery. MOD aims to establish a space situational awareness SSA system by the end of March 2023. In preparation for full scale SSA operation and introduction of defense equipment, the SDF established a space operations squadron in May. Regarding the cyber domain, the MOD SDF has engaged in holistic measures, including ensuring the safety of information and communication systems in response to cyber attacks by specialist units. 
The Cyber Defense Group will be further expanded by about 70 personnel to approximately 290 by the end of March 2021. In the electromagnetic domain, the ASDF deployed an RC-2 electronic warfare aircraft. RC-2 is an asset essential to ensure superiority in the electromagnetic domain and to realize cross-domain operations. When natural disasters such as heavy rain occurs, the SDF engages in various activities in cooperation with local governments. After the heavy rain from early July, the governors of Kumamoto, Fukuoka, Oita, and Yamagata prefectures requested GSDF units for disaster relief. In response, the GSDF implemented disaster relief activities for rescue and living assistance. In this disaster relief operation, an operation order was issued to call up to 400 SDF Ready Reserve personnel and up to 100 SDF Reserve personnel to engage in field activities. In response to the request by the governors and others, the SDF carried out disaster relief operations in 33 prefectures to prevent the community spread of the COVID-19 infection. In this disaster relief mission, the SDF carried out operations such as infection prevention training for local government staff on wearing protective clothing, meal distribution and other basic assistance for patients staying at accommodation facilities, transportation of patients from hospitals to accommodation facilities, and airlifting of COVID-19 positive patients from remote islands.